Hey, shalom and welcome to Rakam Makapash from Jimmy's London, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, <coughs> Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakam Kodash. When they get double honors unto the elders, the apostles, apostles of GMS, and shalom, I'm out there to the hope for that, pushing his truth, not sincerity. Uh, back again with a video, uh, kind of a strange one. <laughs> you know, I learned, I learned something today that I didn't know. You know, don't ask me why I was <laughs> looking up this stuff, but um, you know, it was of, of a dream that I had of, of a flying spider. So, um, one thing led to another, and I started looking up different things. So I end up on this, right? And uh, I learned a little bit about potentiary. Now I ain't gonna go super deep with this because you know I'm not on that level to go super deep into it. <laughs> but apparently, apparently, there are certain species of spiders and fish and whatever that can change their um, <laughs> their 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 type, their sex type, or their gender or whatever, right? And then I'd be thinking about these uh, these transformers, about what they have, to, what they got to go about doing to um, so called quote unquote change their uh, their identities, right? Um, and as a man, is what they got to do, right? Because the most I could have just if if he if the law wanted you to do that, he could have just built that within within you or within us in, in, in man to be able to just change when he felt like it, you know. <laughs> But but no, it, it don't work like that. we don't it doesn't work that, like that for us, man. You know, law decides and we get locked in whether or not we're gonna come out male or female, and um and yeah, you got you got, you got to deal with that. You know, we're not designed to to change and metamorphosize into different things other than what we was designed to be made. Like, you know, designed to come out like. You know, but you know, I find it a little bit interesting, so I thought you know, I'll do a quick video on it. I said I'm not gonna go too deep. I'm not gonna try. Make the video too long, because um, like I say I can't say that I fully, fully understand everything that's being said. But um, but here we go, right? So you know, this is just a, a picture I took of the of what I was reading earlier, or part of what I was reading earlier, right? And it just says here, so other uh, other animals that practice protantry, right? That's the terminology protantry, and there's another word I'll come across it in a second, right? So flying spiders. Okay, which by the way there ain't no actual flying spiders <laughs> with wings because <laughs> the, the spider imagine had wings i was like what the hell is going on um so yeah i just typed in flying spiders but it, that's another matter <laughs> right flying spiders aren't the only animals on the planet that can biologically transform from male to female like they can biologically transform from male to female and i thought oh God, that's kind of crazy you know that you know that they can do that there's, there's things on the earth that the most high created that can actually do that they don't have to go and see a surgeon <laughs> it's like hey doc you know uh, uh you know I, I feel like uh <laughs> i want to change this <laughs> you know you, can you you know can you sort me out now they don't they ain't got to do that right that, that's in their, their you know in their makeup the most more i designed them like that able to do those things right fair enough <laughs> right but but we ain't one of them men men is not one of them that is able to do that and so you know you, you never really become what it is you're trying to transform into you know on the man's side of things or women's side of things right you don't actually become what it is that you're you don't biologically change okay you you uh, aesthetically change you know we don't biologically change nothing you know you don't have operating organs you know but anyway this is um other types include insects like the western cicada killer wasp several kinds of fish in the following categories can also possess this interesting ability crustaceans mollusks uh anima fish and uh, fish from the following families which you know ain't, ain't on the screen um so Right. I put in in here Google potentially meaning right. Uh, I, I'm like, I'm guessing this kind of stems really from plants originally. I'm assuming right. But here it's got uh, the appearance of male insects early in the season, then females of the same species. Okay, I didn't that definition didn't really make too much sense to me. Right, well, didn't didn't clearly make sense to me. <laughs> but um. But yeah, it goes in a bit more here. Why is it like that? 
Right, it says a state of hermaph hermaphroditic systems that is characterized by the development of male organs or maturate or maturate maturation of their products before the appearance of corresponding female product, thus inhibiting self fertilization. So it's you know goes from one to the other so that it doesn't self impregnate itself essentially. And like I said, I think it re characterizes from plants originally this term, right? Because uh, you know they pollinate, right? Anyway. I'm not gonna go super deep into it, <laughs> right? Um, uh, before the appearance of corresponding female product, thus inhibit self fertilization, and that is encountered commonly in minced legumes and composites among diverse groups of invertebrate animals, right? So that's what he got there. Okay, I'm just read. I'm just reading what these men are stating about these things, right? Um, uh, what is the meaning of pedantry? Pedantrous uh, refers to stamens developing or pollen releasing occurring prior to maturation of carpels or stigmas being receptive. Protogenous, which is it says is the reverse, which is the other word I was uh, talking about, with carpels or stigmas developing before stamens mature or pollen is released. Okay, so that's going into the plants of it, right? So, um, was it this one? So that this is just, says the condition in which the male reproductive organ stamens or a flower mature before the female ones carpels, thereby ensuring that self fertilization does not occur. Examples of potandrous flowers are ivy and rosebay willow bud. Now, what are potandrous animals? It's so unique among vertebrates, sex changing fish develop and reproduce as males first and then grow into highly fecund females, potandry or reproduce initially as females to later change into dominant males, uh, protogeny. All right, so I said the most I, has it, can have it occur, or has it occur, occurring among certain species that he's created, you know, but they are created to do that. And like I mentioned, we're not one of those, man. And, you know, to, to do what these, these um, alphabet people are doing <laughs> is nothing but madness. Right, because then bi they biologically do not change. All right, they bi biologically do not change. Right, uh, so I'm just gonna get the precepts now. Right, this is from Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-seven. So God created man in His own image, in the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them, and God God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. Right, so it takes the two, it takes the male and the female to, to produce life. That's the setup. That was the system created among men. Right, made them male and female, so gave them uh, two different sexual organs, you know, to reproduce. Right, gave them different uh, characteristic traits. Right, gave them different physical physical traits. Okay, that's what he did. Right, so then God blessed them, and God said unto them, "Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it." And have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon earth. Uh, so that's pretty much the point in that, right? So the Lord made the two, the two to create life, to have certain characteristics, right? That's what you was made to do, okay? You weren't made to <laughs> decide and change and do all this stuff that you'd be trying to do. In. <coughs> right? Genesis 5 and 2, so male and female created he them. And blessed them and called them and Adam in the day that they were created, right? Because the Lord made many men and you know men and women. Okay, it wasn't just Adam and Eve at this point in time. Right, there were others. Okay. But you see they have their children, Seth, okay, who's a boy, male, whatever, you know. <laughs> That's how it is, right? You know, they have sons and daughters. You know, you don't you don't produce anything else. <laughs> right? Um Genesis 2, 24 says, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother. Okay, just there's just two, right? Two different ones, right? And shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Okay, you're married unto, unto that woman, and, and you know, the woman becomes part of your family. Right? And and the and the seed that she uh receives and 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 you know bears is of your is of the man, right? That's how families start. Well, that's how families are, right? And then you you know you increase the size of your family. That's how it works, you know. If 
you get another wife, guess what? She bear, she's bearing the same seed. She's taking your seed and, and bearing more children to you. So, you know, your family increases. It doesn't matter how many how many women or what women and all that kind of stuff. That they're, they're all the seed of that man. Because right? men carry the sperm. That's that's what the you know part of the male characteristics are. Right? And a woman's characteristics is that she holds she has a you know a womb and, and eggs, ovaries and whatever, right? That's how we're designed. Okay, we're not designed to change that, you know, because anybody that's done or tried to do that, right, they don't function as as those things. Okay, they have become something else. <laughs> you know, maybe maybe there is more than three, but they've destroyed themselves, man. They've destroyed the purpose of of their of their being. Right, they're no longer functional men, and they're no longer functioning women. They they just. <laughs> You know, uh, as a scripture might put it, uh, abominations, <laughs> all right. You know, or monsters. I right, anyway, I'll go wonder if this video is gonna stay up, man. Damn. Um, anyway, uh, this is Isaiah 44, verse 22. Uh, thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, all right, I am the Lord. That maketh all things, right? The Lord formed thee in the womb. The Lord formed us in the womb. The Lord decided, you know, what we were going to come out as. You know? He decided all that, man. The seed is, is you know, the seed that the woman bears is nothing but the, 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 the flesh that is being developed, right? A, a house, if you like, a, an abode, right? The body is, a, is abode, right? The seed, the semen, sperm, whatever. That's being formed in the egg, is being grown, is the vessel which the spirit is being placed in. Right? Because we all exist in the spirit before we come in the flesh, and the, 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 the flesh houses our spirit. Right? So the most high forms that flesh, right? Makes it whatever it needs to be and puts that spirit that needs to be in there in it. You know? The most high decides that he forms it, right? Because that's like a that's that's a, that's, that's miracle that's a, that's a miracle right there all that the whole process of how a child is made and it's, it's a, a miracle process man it's a, a, amazing right it's crazy but but yeah the most high is the one that is in charge of that he he decides okay whether you're you're gonna have a son or you're gonna have a daughter you know we can talk about all the X Y chromosomes we can talk about all that sort of stuff but the most high is the only one that's in control of all of that. You know, if you do this particular stroke, you know, you'll, you'll get a son. <laughs> All this type of stuff. I've heard crazy things over the times, but, you know, it's the most side that decides. So who are, we, who are we to decide otherwise? Now, it might be, you know, which I find kind of funny in a, in a crazy, terrible way. <laughs> the most I might be fucking with people. The most I does fuck with people. We know this, but, um, you know, to, to fuck with people, the most I might put you in a, in a body that you don't think you belong in. <laughs> Just to fuck with you, man. Maybe, maybe the Lord does do that. <laughs> you know, but for the most part, you know, you people just got demons on you, man, that, that are deceiving you, that are telling you, telling you that you don't belong in, in this particular form. <laughs> have you, have you, have you certain that you need to go and do something about it, man? You know, that's that's madness, right? But anyway, this is Romans chapter one, verse. Uh, I'm going to start from verse 25, right? So who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and served the, cre the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever, Amen. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature, right? And this is, the nature is what the Most High purposed you for. That's the nature, right? Which is evident in the scriptures. It's not something philosophical or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Metaphysical. metaphysical. It's It's there, we, it's outlined what we're supposed to be doing as 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 men and women on the earth, right? It's there, but you know, people, men, women, they wanna they wanna f around it. That you know, Esau wanna f around with it. Everyone wants to f around with what we're supposed to be doing by nature. All right, so yeah, the Most High gave gave them uh, gave them up into vile affections, right? For even the women did change the, the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Right? Which is what? It's to bear children. But we get in these whole alphabet movements and you know alphabet relationships and whatever going on that don't that which is against nature. It doesn't it doesn't produce anything other than 
disease and wickedness, man. You know? Um, it says, uh, likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust to one another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, this is, you know, unsightly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Right? You recompense an error, it's wrong. So you're going to receive judgment, right? So even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, right? And all that, all that's all that is really is you know, demons are sent upon you, man, to keep you from you know doing right. So you so in the end that you are destroyed. That's all it really is. The Lord is preventing you from understanding, from receiving truth and real knowledge. Play you with demons and and, and stuff, making you do crazy crazy shit. That's why you ain't that's why you're in the in the in the surgery rooms getting Getting the, uh, you know, body parts cut off and stuff. Mutilated and reformed and, and all this kind of madness. It's, it's, it's crazy. That man, a person would go and, and do such a thing. Because in their mind, they're so determined that they're not who they think they are. Or they're not, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's a demon, man. Strong delusion. All right. But anyway, um... So even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, evidently, right? So being, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despite the, they hate the creation of the most high, they hate the way the most high does things. They, they feel like they've got it wrong. So they're resentful. They don't have respect on, onto the word of the Heavenly Father. Right, uh, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, impassable, unmerciful, who know in the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Right, and and this sort of stuff is really, you know, we know now it's been heavily promoted in this world right now, man. All this madness, this literal, literal madness is being promoted in the earth, man. All this wickedness. As if it's some sort of good thing. Some liberating thing. But what <laughs> all you're doing is liberating demons, man, to do what they want with your body, man. It's, it's, it's crazy out here. You know? To think that that's the answer, that's what you gotta do. Oh well, wow. The most I really gave you up. You know? Really did give you up. This is Matthew 4 and verse 24. This is being like Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, verse 23, I'm going to start from. It says, And Yahweh Shai went about all Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of, of sicknesses, or sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. Verse 24, And his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which are possessed with devils. It's a real thing. That's what Mosai means that he gave you up to a reprobate mind, man. He allowed you. Allowed he gave you over to Satan, man. He gave you over to these devils to do what they want to do with you, man. You got a whole heap of de demons on you, just abusing you, you and your body, man. <laughs> That's what you got going on right now, all right? So it says uh, they were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lu were lunatic. You are mad. You are, you are crazy out here. And those that had the, the palsy, and he healed them. Right, so you know, if, if you're on the most size good, this man, yeah, you could, you know, maybe be healed from all this kind of madness. But a lot of a lot of the purpose of these things are happening to you, man, so the law can destroy you, man. Right, there is no cure for that. Yahweh can't cure he can't cure the wicked that that have been um, assigned to, to destruction. They've, they've been assigned to destruction already. So Yahweh can't do nothing about that. In the same way we can't. You know, we can only tell you of the judgment and, and you know, teach you the fear of the Lord, man. And the Lord puts the spirit upon you, man, to change your ways and, you know, turn from that wickedness, that wicked life you, you, you know, you into. Then, you know, perhaps you could be saved, man. But a lot of the time, people have been given over to these things, to this to these madnesses, man. So in the end, the Lord can make an example out of you, just like the Lord made an example out of Son of Gomorrah. So we have to think, you know, you have to think about these things. Right? You can't you can't make it right if it ain't right. 
you can't make it right. Most I say it ain't right, it ain't right, man. And you know, you have to pay the consequences, man. All right, but I'm gonna close that with this. It's from Corinthians chapter five. That's uh, why, yeah, First Corinthians chapter five and verse five. Uh, it says to deliver to deliver such a one unto Satan for the destruction of the flesh. Uh, that's what a lot of these people, are, you know, it's happened or is happening to these people, man. They're just being delivered into the hands of Satan. Satan, you know, these devils are having their way with them, making them do all this crazy, wicked shit, just so the Lord is gonna, you know, and just so the Lord is gonna end up destroying them in the end. You know, that's that's what it is. Okay, this is um. <clears throat> Deliver, and to deliver such a one under Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, so hopefully that was edifying, and with that I'm going to say Shalom.